Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we have another video from another channel. This is the Carolina Gamer. Now over on his channel, he has not only a focus on playthroughs, particularly solo playthroughs, but he also creates his own automas or solo AIs. And then he puts up videos showing you how to use them. So it's pretty awesome the stuff he has over on his channel. Be sure to go check that out. Click on the link in the description below so you can see what all he has on his channel. Here we go. One, I have my newest Automa ready to go, so I'm excited to show you how it works. It should be on BGG by March 21st, 2021. With this Automa, you are going to get 18 different opponents, and they are going to range from Easy, which has one paintbrush in the top left corner, to Normal, which has two paintbrushes, to Hard, which has three paintbrushes. What I did was when I printed them out, there's 18 of them, I simply slid them in to the back of your wallpaper cards. That way they don't take up any more room in the box and, and you don't have to, when you're playing multiplayer, you don't have to worry about breaking these out. You just give people their cards and they can just completely ignore the back. But when you're playing solo, you have these ready to go uh, for your choosing. Additionally, you're gonna get 12 solo Automa cards to make up the Automa deck, and you wanna go ahead and give that a shuffle. You set up a game of canvas versus a solo opponent or opponents, the same you would in a multiplayer game. So you're gonna have your four scoring card conditions. You're gonna lay this out into market slots one, two, three, four, and five. You're gonna have your ribbons up at the top. You're gonna to give yourself three wallpaper cards. You're gonna take four inspiration tokens. You're gonna to shuffle the solo deck, and then you're gonna choose an opponent or opponents. In this case, I'm planning on playing against Bob, who's a difficulty of one, so that's an easier opponent. And I'm also playing against Frida, who's a difficulty two, so that's a normal opponent. I prefer to play against two opponents. It's very easy to manage, but you can choose just one if you want to, or you can choose up to three other ones that you want to play. What you want to do is you want to take the opponents that you choose and just place them near the game board, and you're going to take ribbons from the supply, and you're going to, you're going to mark off these columns. You're going to put these at the very top, and as the game progresses, these are, these are going to slide down, and they're going to reveal different things, but to start the game, you're going to um, put these at the very top for each opponent and if you do like four four and then three and three you shouldn't worry about running out of components you're also going to give four inspiration tokens to your opponents as well so a game versus automated opponents are going to look very similar to a regular multiplayer game so you're going to go first and you're going to play just like you would in a multiplayer game so you might pick this card and if you take this card into your hand you simply leave an inspiration token behind and you slide all these cards over and you draw a new one after you've taken your turn ai's get to go when it's the ai's turn you're simply going to flip over a solo card and resolve each ai one at a time so you'll flip over a card for bob in this case and resolve the card and then once you're done with that you're going to flip over a card for frida and then resolve her card and then it would go back to your turn so let's see what that would look like so this says take an art card so it's going to look for a card in slot two and it's going to leave an inspiration on slot one because it took the card in slot two, just like you would have to. So in this case, it would take it one from its supply, it would leave it on slot one, and it would take this card. And then it would slide all these cards down, just like it would in a multiplayer game. So when it takes an art card, you're simply going to look at two things, the colors on it, as well as any icons on it. So for the colors, this shows green and blue. So let's go ahead and do green and blue first. So what that means is you simply slide down the green and blue, if it has those colors on its board, uh, one spot. So you'll slide this one down one spot, and this just started a chain reaction. So by dropping down green one spot, this has revealed this uh, icon here. So that means it gets to push down a, another one that matches that icon, okay? So whenever you reveal, it's either gonna have a blank space, it's going to have an icon that matches one of the icons up here, or it's going to have an, an award that it will receive once it uh, completes its painting. So we did green, and now we need to do blue. 
So we'll simply move blue down one. All right, it's a blank space, so that's all it does. And then you want to look at the icons on it. So it's going to move, if it, if it has this icon on its player area, it's going to move that one down. So looking at its player area, it does here. So we'll move that one down. And this one has a triangle. Well, looking on its player board, it doesn't have a triangle, so it doesn't move anything down for that one. This would be the end of its turn. It would take this card and place it to the right. So after you do that, after you look at the card to see what icons it has and you move this down, you simply take a look at the bottom right of the AI card. And it's going to look to see how many art cards does it have in its possession. So Bob has one. So he's not going to complete a painting yet. But let's say it had taken this one and let's say it had taken this one. And so when it drew this card, let's say this was the card in slot two. And so um, let's say, okay, let's move yellow and green. So yellow would move down, green would move down. And then, oh, we have these two icons. So that gets moved down twice. So one, two, and then, oh, we have a sun here. So, nope, there's no sun on here. So then it placed this in its possession. So now that's three. One thing I will note is that when the AI collects an art card that has one of these icons on it, it's just, it gets a black uh, award ribbon per icon, you just simply ignore those. It will not move any spaces on its columns for these icons. You look at, once again, you look at the very bottom right of the card. And so it's saying if it has three plus cards in, in its player area, go ahead and complete a painting. So it would combine all of these and that's the painting it painted. And so now it needs to score its painting. So you're gonna look to see all the visible awards that it, it has gotten from this painting. So in this case, it has gotten a blue ribbon award and it has gotten a red ribbon award. So it will go ahead and add those ribbons to its player area. It will score those at the end of the game. After it's painted a painting, you will simply reset its player board. Or you can leave these next to the auto, uh, Automa play area just to say, hey, they, hey this is the paint they actually painted. Then when it comes back to Bob's turn, he will get more cards and he will do just the same, but when he places this now, he won't place this on here. He will place it, he will start a new painting since he's painted this one. And any Automa reference cards, like let's say this says, he, he took this card and it says three plus. Um, you don't count, okay, he has three plus one, so now he, he completes another painting. Now you just look at his new one, he only has one card, so he wouldn't complete a painting on this turn. So on the AI's turn, you're gonna flip over a card. You're gonna take the art card showing you're going to move the different ribbons down based off the colors and icons showing. And then you're gonna to check to see, does it have that many art cards? And if it does, you're gonna go ahead and score based off of whatever's showing on its card for ribbons. Um, there's the four different ribbons, uh, red, green, blue, purple, but there's the black ribbons that are signified uh, by this symbol and for colorblind, I made sure to put the letter so that's green, blue, purple, red, and if there's no letter, then that simply means black. In the event that it goes to take an art card, but it doesn't have enough inspiration tokens, let's say, for example, it Bob drew this art card, and it says it wants to take uh, the card in this slot, slot number three, which is this card. It, he needs to leave two inspiration tokens on one on this one and one on this one, but let's say Bob only had one. He would take the furthest right card that he could afford. So he would simply take his one, place it here, and take this card because that's the one he could afford. And it would he would do the normal uh, looking at the colors and icons and adjusting his board. Um, if the AI ever takes a card with inspiration tokens on it, you simply add that to their player board and you do the um, colors and the icons per normal. There is one uh, AI card in the deck that after it's drawn and resolved, so it's this card, it says take an art card in the fifth spot. 
Once again, if it can't afford that, it will try to take this card. If it can't afford that, it will try to take that card, so on and so forth. But regardless, after it's done this, and you've you've moved the ribbons down on its player board uh, for the different colors and icons on the art card selected, and once again, you've checked to see, did, did it paint a picture this turn? After you've done that, you're going to take all the cards in the discard pile, as well as this card, and you're going to shuffle them together and make a new deck. So once again, if you're playing with multiple opponents, you're simply going to flip over a card for one of them, resolve the card, and then after you've taken their turn, you'll flip over another one for the next AI opponent and resolve that card. And then once you're, all of your AI opponents have gone, you're going to go, go ahead and go again. At the end of the game, which takes place after all the players have completed three paintings, you're going to go ahead and score you're going to score just like you would in a normal game, and the AI is going to score just like you would in a normal game 99% of the time. If you're playing on easy or medium, they will definitely score like you would in a normal game 100% of the time. But if you're playing on hard, um, there's a chance that they might have more than three uh, ribbons of one color. So let's go ahead and look at a scoring example. So let's say Bob had these ribbons he had collected at the end of the game. You're going to look at the four scoring options. And so for red, red it says if you have three ribbons, it, it will score you 11 points. So looking at Bob, he has four ribbons. So it's simply going to take three ribbons, score 11 points for those, and any leftover ribbons are going to score two points each. So let's say that's what he had five red, he would score 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go ahead and finish this um, example out for the whole, for each of his colors. So three ribbons is 11. That would be an extra two, 12, 13. One ribbon is four, so that's uh, 13 plus four is 17. Two blue is seven, so that's 24. One purple is one, so that's 25. And one black is two points, so that's a total of 27 points points. So that's how you score for the Automa. You're going to do that for each opponent that you're playing against. You're going to score for yourself and whoever has the most points wins. You're going to see that between the three difficulties, EDM, Normal, and Hard, you're going to have more going on on their player board. There's going to be more chain reactions of what they can cross off. Let's say Artemisia got a art card that had a blue on it. She would move blue down one. Oh, that just triggered yellow. So the yellow column goes down one. Oh, that just triggered that icon. This one moves down one. Oh, they just got another ribbon for when they go to score. So the harder difficulty cards are going to have a lot more of that going on. And just like that, another Automa is done. Be on the lookout for a full playthrough. I will probably be playing against an easy and normal opponent because I'm not very good at this game. I will say if you generally score between 0 and 25, I would play against easy opponents. If you score between 25 and 45, I would play against normal opponents. And if you're consistently, consistently scoring above 40, I would play on hard. So thank you for watching. Good luck versus the many different opponents you can choose from and all of these are based these names are based off famous artists so if you want to research and see who you exactly you're playing against uh, just go to Google and type in their first names and I would say famous artists and you can find out a little bit more about who you're playing against so with that happy gaming